Hi, I'm Tina Min and I'm the Chief Communications and Development Officer for Catalina Island Medical Center. My role is to help inform and educate the community about health care for Catalina Island and the medical center's critical role in caring for the island and develop and nurture a healthy, engaged, and dynamic relationship between the medical center and the community it serves. And really to go out there and share about the extraordinary care we are providing to patients and most importantly make sure that we as the health care providers are adequately communicating information timely to protect public health and safety of our community and island and that is especially important during this extraordinary time of the COVID-19 pandemic. My journey with the Medical Center began in August of 2019 which was shortly after the Catalina Island Company announced that they were donating the land um, to the medical center for which we would be building a new hospital. And it's a wonderful gesture of support for our aspirations to build this new hospital for Catalina Island. As you may know, our current facility does not satisfy the earthquake safety um, requirements and unfortunately cannot be retrofitted to meet the seismic standards mandated by the California Hospital Association. And after evaluating all the possible options and knowing that there was a deadline that needed to be met, CIMC decided that the only way to ensure and preserve access to patient care and critical care for Catalina Island residents and visitors is to build a brand new hospital. I hope to support the Medical Center and Catalina Island by strengthening and continuing to build our community engagement and philanthropic um, efforts in order to support the building of a new hospital for the island. Of course, with COVID-19, things have changed very rapidly and we're now facing a very different challenge. And while our aspirations for a new hospital remains our long-term goal, CIMC's short-term focus has shifted to help protect the public health and safety of the island. And through the crisis, we as a team will continue to work tirelessly to keep the community informed and provide critical care. We have moved swiftly to prepare our facility and staff and have proven ourselves to be an effective organization capable of handling COVID-19 cases while also providing regular great patient care and keep the public informed and educated. We strengthen our virtual um, medicine and telehealth services so that patients can still access quality care and stay healthy while we abide by the stay at home safety orders. And most importantly, we make sure that timely information and education around the current healthcare crisis is accessible and our providers have taken extra steps to develop custom tailored content that focus on the particular needs of our island community. And so I'm very proud of what we've been able to accomplish so far in such a short amount of time and we will continue to proactively engage for the good of our community. I've only been a part of the team for a short time, but it's already very clear to me that we have an exceptional group of providers and staff caring for the community here at CIMC. Everyone collectively owns the responsibility of caring for the public health and safety of Catalina Island, and it's why we wake up and do what we do every day. And what I've learned about Catalina Island through this experience is that the island is a unique kind of intimate and tight-knit community. There's an extraordinary amount of love and passion for the island, whether it's a resident or a visitor. When I speak to people about Catalina, they don't just like it, they love it. And that strong emotional engagement gives a lot of hope and confidence for the future and what we are trying to accomplish at the Medical Center. It is with great hope and promise that through a true partnership with the community and its love and passion for Catalina Island, we can realize the dream of a new hospital and preserve access to quality health care on the island. People deserve to have access to quality care in a safe environment. A hospital is the home for people to care for other people. And so for me, I zero in on this area of friction for hospitals and the tough position they are constantly sandwiched in, making sure they provide safe quality care to people, they hire the right talent to do it amidst all the political and economic pressures they face. But we do need support in order to do that, to do what we do. Almost all hospitals need the support of their community in today's healthcare environment. And for a rural critical care access hospital like CIMC, we need your help and we also want it because we want to care for you in the way you want to be cared for. And that can only happen through a deep, engaged dialogue with you. And the truth is we can't care for you without you. 
Philanthropy is a, a powerful tool to help alleviate some of the pressures we as a hospital face. And every act of kindness is important, whether you decide to volunteer, advocate, lead, or donate. There's no act too great or too small because every little bit counts. This gesture of kindness symbolizes your desire to fight for your own health, the right for you and your loved ones to have access to great care. And it is also a beautiful expression of support that your community deserves it too. And this phenomenal gesture of support can come in a form of advocacy, of volunteerism, and philanthropy. The hospitals are an entity that exists for one reason only, and this is to care for people and save lives. So for me, being a part of this relationship building process and inspiring support for healthcare is really fulfilling because I also know that community is powerful in numbers. By working together for this common cause, our lives will be better, we will overcome, we will prosper, and we will thrive. It is this most beautiful expression of community and that we are collectively working together to support each other because together we can do this. And this is the spirit I hope continues far beyond COVID-19 because if we're able to survive this crisis and move forward, if CIMC is to continue being the healthcare provider for Catalina Island, we are only able to do that with the community and with your support. So I hope you'll join us, fight for your health, fight for the island, volunteer, advocate, lead, or donate, champion for CIMC.